Well, welcome, welcome, family. I just wanted to do a quick video today to show you that not only do I love to do plants outdoors, but I also love to do them inside my home. So what you're seeing here is some plants that I've kind of put together in one little area trying to create a really cool foresty type look in this section. And uh, one of the things I discovered while putting these plants in this area is that, oh, I've got several of them that's in the, uh, the uh, stock pot per se that they came in when I purchased them from the store, like for instance, this one here, you know, it's that plain old black pot right there. And I'm tired of looking at that. So I want to do something different. They both are in that same pot. So my thought is I'm not going to actually transplant them into a different pot. But what I want to do is buy some decorative white pots to kind of make them pop out that I can just sit the current pot that they're in inside of the white pot. So I'm gonna go on a search today and hit the stores to see what I can find. So that's this area. And then I've got another area over here. Let's see, right here that I'm going to also, well, these two are good to go. As you can see, I've put those in the white pots already and it just gives it a nice, clean, more modern look in the home when you do that. So I'm gonna also change that one up as well. Put it in a white pot. So that's my mission today is to go out searching for some white pots to put my uh, plants in that are in these store-bought pots that they come in when you get them from, you know, the, the store, when you buy the plant from the store. So I intend on changing that up and giving everything a nice, cleaner, more crisp, modern look yes indeedy yeah all of that is going to change up going to change all of that up so i wanted to give you just a little quick peek at some of what i've got going on here with my plants and then this area by my staircase is empty with the exception of that one wooden statue I have hanging there. So I'm going to fill that up with plants too. So I love plants. They help keep the air clean in your home and they just look so beautiful. They're so aesthetically pleasing to the eye when you mix in uh, the plants and other, you know, decorations you have in your home, like pictures, statues, and so forth. So I'm going to go and do my search on that and come back and get everything situated. And I'll come back to you once I reach the store. All right, so I am here at the at-home home, home uh, decorating, I guess, home decorating store, I guess that's what you'd call it. We'll see when we get up there, but uh, this is where I'm going to go inside to see if I can find me some really cool uh, planter pots for my uh, inside plants. We'll see what they got. I'm not sure if they will allow me to film when I get in there. But uh, if so, then I will bring you guys back. But for now, that's where I'm headed into is to check out some of these pots that they may possibly have at at home here and it says that it is at home the home decor superstore so we're getting ready to walk in here and 
see what they got, family. And I will be back with you. All right, I'm back. Looks like it's okay for me to do some filming. I talked to the um, store manager and he said it was absolutely fine to do so. So this is, uh, again, the home decor store called At Home. And uh, let's see what they got. You know, the inter interesting thing that I've uh, noticed in a lot of the stores, no matter if it's grocery stores, um, home and garden stores, um, now we're in this home decor store. Man, the shelves are absolutely bare not like what you typically see when you uh come in to your stores things are getting slim pickings but guess what y'all looky over here there we go just what i was looking for some of those nice white planter pots that i can use to set my current pots in. So I'm not really looking for like your, your porcelain type pots. I just want something very inexpensive, kind of like this. This is like a nice little plastic pot. And in the price range I'm looking for, look at that. I think that's pretty cute. So I'll keep that one in mind, but I'm going to make my way around the other side just to see what else they may have to offer in these beautiful pots. You know, just trying to spruce up things in the home a little bit. Look, y'all, shelves just empty. I remember coming in this store and there would be all sorts of things, chairs, tables, you name it empty that's pretty scary to me <laughs> i don't know about you but that's kind of scary to me for real and and typically this time of year when you're getting close to the thanksgiving um season and christmas they would have all sorts of stuff stacked up but literally empty Whew. But anyway, let's keep looking at what my objective was for coming here. I'll get off of that kick. All right. So they do have some that I can work with. Tall ones, short ones. Yeah, I can work with some of these. And like I said, the price is uh, pretty cool too. So I'm gonna take a look at what they got, see which ones truly interest me, and uh, go from there. I like this. It's not plastic, but I can deal with that. Yeah, it's still pretty. So I'm gonna go and get me a buggy cause I, I passed right by the buggies up front. I just, I guess I kind of wanted to see what they had first, but um, I'm going to go ahead and get me a buggy and uh, start looking through these pots and then I'll bring you back to me. All right, I'm back, got my buggy, cruising by the uh, furniture section here, which is Slim Pickens. Yep, got my buggy, but still just kind of tripping out on the uh, bare shelves here it's just bare nothing much at all nothing much at all and i don't know if it has something to do with the uh trucks at the uh, the uh port trying to get in but you know that's been a big thing it's really sad but yeah there you have it 
but I do see some more pretty, pretty pots here. I'm again in the market for very light colored pots. So I'll stick to the plan, but hey, it doesn't hurt to nosy around, right? Nosy around a bit just to see what's going on. I may run into something that I really like. Like this one here. What's this? It's very heavy. And it's not bad price. But I'll think about that. And then these are some pretty blues here as well. I do have some in my home that are blue. These are some pretty blues. Yeah. Nice. But hey, I'm gonna give you a kind of a wide view shot of the store itself. There you go. Zoom in. Look, <laughs> it's crazy. crazy y'all it's crazy yeah all right so we're gonna go back over here to the uh, pots that I'm most interested in okay make our way on over there and the store yeah i know it's a weekday but store is pretty empty i think i've seen more employees in here than actual customers yeah so let's see i kind of like this one because it's got that unusual uh, imperfect shape to it and it's porcelain but I like the way it looks let me just get you down here to show it to you let's see if I can put it somewhere where you can truly see what I mean about that imperfect shape to it yeah you see that it's kind of cute kind of cute I think I'll get that one and hang on to it. Cool. And I was most interested in this one as well. Let's see. Show you a picture of it also. That was nice. So I'll get that one. This one is an all white. It has like real light specks of black in it but it's nice it'll give some contrast in there so i'm thinking about it it will certainly work yeah all right but i like to find one that uh is a little bit not so beat up this is the little $7.99 or there. It's cute, but yeah, I don't have the, that nice sleek character to it that I want. It's cheap, but mm -mm. I like that nice sleek modern look right there. So I'm definitely gonna get one of those. And let's see. I like the tall ones to give some height in there. So I may get one of those as well, just to give me some height, depth around my plants. And then maybe a few of the smaller ones here. I'll take a look at those. Okay. All right, this is cute. 
that's cute yeah all right so i'm gonna go and just kind of browse through take a look see which ones i really really want and uh i'll be back well here are the pots that i decided on from the at home home decor store so you see i've got some that are tall some medium size some that are much lower just to kind of give it a little bit of flair and uh contrast so not all are totally whites the two here in front have just a hint of gray which i thought would be absolutely uh, wonderful with helping to break up just that stark white color and I love the shapes so I went with those and then you see this wicker basket here I thought it was very cute so I'm going to sit more than likely the taller base inside of it just to give it a little bit of flair so um, there you have the actual planters that i did so let me let me take you over here and there are some plants that i decided to stop by the home depot and get for this blank wall that i showed you earlier by my staircase here so i went ahead and grabbed a few plants just to get started uh, I do intend to add even more to really make it a living wall of plants right here by this staircase, but that's to start it out. So I'm going to go ahead, get everything situated. I've got to decide which ones I want to put in what uh, pot for now, but uh, when I get that done, I'll come back and show you uh, the finished product. All right. Okay, we're back and I've put everything in uh, a different pot. You can see that the ZZ plant I have over here on this one coffee table, it was in standing out in a black pot. So I just set the uh, black pot inside that white one. And of course, did to me, did wonders. It made that area pop out for me. And then over on the other side here we'll make our way over there my uh fig leaf plant here you can still see the black pot somewhat but you can also get a little bit of a different feel with the uh black and white contrast there just like the one sitting on the uh cabinet here so definitely loving the look loving the look very very nice very nice i like that nice clean more a little bit more modern look with a little bit of uh a little bit of uh just a little bit of, you know, the wood and that's mixing in with the modern. M my mind escapes me right now what I'm trying to say, but yeah, definitely we've got two different eras here popping together, basically. Okay. Yeah, the classical look. All right, and then we'll make our way around to the next section here that I showed you earlier. And we've got this area. I like that. Kind of have that jungle feel to it. Love that. Has that little jungly feel to it. My elephant is enjoying the greenery yes 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 and then finally over by the staircase wall there we have this look 
and you can see the little brown whisker wicker basket that I was telling you about. I set that one tall pot inside of it. I love that look. And we have one flower pot here that is just all by itself. I've got to get some more plants and I'll find one to go in that one. But um, definitely, definitely a nice look. I like it. Okay. So one more shot. Here we go. There you go. Nice. Okay. And then one final look here. One final look here. Nice. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And there you have it. All right, family. That's it. And I am done for today. And that'll do it. Thank you for hanging out with me. It's been fun going shopping and taking you along with me. I've enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed it too. And I'll be back again with another chronicle for you. All right. And with that, I want to say peace and love to you. This is Sandy Seven with Auntie Niece. And these are the Honky Tonk Chronicles. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please hit the like button, family. Hit that like button. Have a blessed, beautiful rest of the day. Peace.